Hello, it's DK here with Mr. V Amps, and I have a 2015 Les Paul Jr. Special Double Cut. It's got two P90s in it, but there's like one fatal flaw. When you turn them up for high gain, and you give things a good whack, there's this metallic after ring that happens. Most of it is in this pickup. But there's some in this one too. And that should be a pretty easy fix, so that's what we're going to try to solve today. Okay, so in order to deal with our pickup ring, we're going to have to um, <clears throat> tune our guitar down, and we'll use the automatic G4 system with that. So we'll tell it to lower each string individually, get them nice and loose. Although these strings are not brand new, I don't really feel like tossing them yet. They're not that tired yet. So we'll lower all the strings. If anybody owns one of these Gibbies and would like to actually learn how to work this, some people obviously do better with videos than they do with instruction manuals, let me know. I'm pretty familiar with these. And, uh, worked a lot with them. Okay, so all of our strings are pretty darn loose at this point, so we'll turn, turn our G-Force off, and then I should be able to unscrew these caps, <clears throat> maybe with the help of a screwdriver. <laughs> maybe with the help of a screwdriver we'll unscrew those caps and take the strings off. See you in a minute. Okay, so strings are off. On these P90 pickups, they're held in place by these two screws so and what actually holds them up to height is springs so the weird little funky bouncy noise that you're hearing and the ringing is the springs rattling around in there just due to the fact that I'm probably playing these things louder than they were intended so there's our pickup cover, which is plastique, yet the rattly noise is these two little springs that hold the pickup in place underneath. And my plan is, is I just need to dampen these a little bit. So two methods we can use. Number one, we can put a little bit of shrink wrap or electrical tape on the top half of the screw so that the screw cannot really rattle inside of the pickup and second we can install a little bit of foam underneath the pickup to dampen it and hold it in place more securely so it doesn't bobble around and between those two solutions we should be in business so let me do that now Okay, so I did put a very thin, I mean very thin, wrap on each of these screws so they can't rattle in the hole. And then I've cut this fairly squishy packing foam. It's squishy, so I can easily adjust my pickup height, then it'll squish down. And I don't really have to worry about it causing any issues. And then I should be able to hopefully line my pickup back up and screw it down. If I can find the holes. I know somebody out there is going, that's what she said. I know, everybody loves their jokes and their memes. But this little bit of foam and a little bit of uh, insulation around the, or a little bit of wrap around the uh, screws will keep my pickup from bobbling and if it doesn't bobble it isn't going to make that horrible metallic sound anymore. 
Oh, darn, a little bit of my a little bit of my screw wrap is sneaking out on me. I'll have to tidy that up a little bit. But my fix, it will be invisible, which is great. It'll be an invisible fix, and it'll solve the problem. So we'll do that here, and we'll do that there, and then we'll check the results. The very keen sighted of you may realize that I left the screws that go under the pickup sitting right there. And uh, I didn't forget them too long. I got the screws, I started threading the screws in, and I said to myself, oops. And then I fixed it. So, one pickup down and the other pickup to go. Still a couple more turns on this screw. There we go. Almost. Come on, Nelly. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is this pickup sits up a little bit higher, but again, just small foam blocks and a little bit of a, a little bit of a wrap around the the screw, and that should dampen any vibration that we were experiencing. What the heck? Why isn't the zooming? Well, it's recording. Okay. Anyway, we got the uh, screws wrapped and we're going to put in the little foam blocks. sideways. Maybe I want to trim the one down a little bit more. I would like them to be ideally not visible. And these are down. And that is a feasible proposition because you don't see any foam blocks under there and you don't see my wraps on the screws. You see my fingerprints. But I can polish those off problem. Let's see. Hmm. Is that foam block just too darn thick? Hmm. That should work. I think that's okay. Now, this side is easier to squish down. Tell you what, I think I think the block on this side is just a little too thick, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit because there's no sense in putting high strain on the screws and whatnot. So take that block and we'll take the little razor knife and trim it down just a little bit. Easy as that. And these are just little polystyrene blocks like you would find in packaging. So we're fixing this at real no real material cost. I would call it a free fix, but ain't nothing free because it's costing me my time. And this is not the this is not a hating channel, so we're not gonna hate on the guitar hate on the manufacturer. Um, I'm sure they probably have made these this way for many years. And when they introduce new changes, that usually upsets the apple cart more than anything else. So we just keep building it the way we've always made it. Okay, well, for starters, I can't squish the pickup up and down like I could before. And when I tap on it, I don't hear the springy, ringy that I was hearing before. You could even hear it acoustically just a little bit from those springs jostling. So, we'll stick the strings, the strings back on, we'll adjust the pickups to the appropriate height, and we'll give it a test. Okay, so the operation is done. I got both pickups on. I can make that one go tick, but it doesn't go boing. That one's got... Keep 
in mind this is a really high gain situation. This was the noisier of the two. And the really bad ring that it was doing, it is no longer doing. Granted, that probably sounds like crap to the camera, but to my ear, that is a grand improvement in that irritating ringing noise that we were trying to deal with. So, putting a little bit of foam underneath our P90s has resolved the problem. Another win. Thanks for watching. Uh, no guitar bashing here. You know, just if you have this type of pickup on your guitar, regardless of who made it, uh, and you're getting that weird metallic ring that I was, there's a possible solution. Have a great day.